Hello and welcome, I'm Dave. Today we're going to learn how to upload images to our Django application. And I'll provide links to all resources in the description below. I'll also provide a link for you to join my Discord server where you can discuss web development with other students and you can ask questions that I can answer and receive help from other viewers too. I look forward to seeing you there. The source code for today's tutorial starts where the previous lesson ended, and there's a link in the description that provides the code for each lesson. I've got VS Code open. Let's open a terminal window with Control and the back tick. From here, I'm going to type source.venv, there we go, slash scripts, slash activate to activate our virtual environment. And we can confirm that's going with the dot venv in parentheses. And after that, let's go ahead and CD into the My Project directory. And now we're ready to start. We want to add images to our project today. So I'm going to close the terminal window and I'm going to go ahead and display the My Project directory here on the left and then open the My Project directory that's nested inside of that. From there, we want to go to the settings.py file. And let's go ahead and scroll down to where we were in a previous lesson where we defined a static path. It's all the way here at the bottom, if I remember correctly. Yep, we have a static URL and a static files directory. We need to add to that. And what we need to add is the media URL, so media underscore URL. And this is saying where we're going to find images. So here we'll say equals, and then we want to put in a directory, and this is going to be the media directory. So I'm going to put in media slash, just like we have above here with static slash. Then underneath that, we also need to put in a media underscore root. Now this is saying where that directory is going to be. So here we'll say equals, then we have to put in just a little bit more. So we'll say OS dot path. And then after path, we put join, We're going to pass in the base underscore dir for directory. So that means our top level my project directory here. And after that, we can put a comma, and then I wanna put in single quotes and just put in media, so we're naming our media directory here that we named over here. Now, we haven't created that media directory. It will get created on its own when we upload an image. So let's just save these two changes to our settings file, and now we need to go to the file underneath it that is urls.py. Okay, in urls.py, I wanna scroll down once again to where I can see the URL patterns that we have defined here. We need to have a couple of imports and then we're going to add to our patterns. So for the imports, I'm going to say from django.conf for config.urls.static. Then I want to import static. And don't feel bad if you can't memorize these, I don't either. So then I have from Django.config again, just conf, and then I want, not another dot, but import settings. And those are the settings that we just defined. So after you have those two imports, then underneath URL patterns, we can add to them. So here I'm going to say URL patterns, and I need to spell that correctly, then plus equals. And after that, I want to use static that we imported. That's a function. Then inside of static, I'm going to use the settings that we imported and then say dot media underscore URL. So here we're referring to that media URL that we just defined in the settings. Then I want to put a comma and now put in a named param here, document underscore root. And then we'll set this equal to settings dot media underscore root. And that's the one we just defined as well. I'm also going to press Alt Z because this is a long line and this will just get it to wrap down to the next line so we can see everything on the screen all at once. So now we've imported these two lines here at the top. We have static and settings. And then we used both of those as we added to our URL patterns. So we're essentially telling our app where it can find our images. Now we're ready to close our My Project directory and open the post directory that we have here. And let's go to the models.py file. But before we make any change to our model, we need to install something. So this is where it's important that we've started our virtual environment. So we're putting all of our dependencies in that environment. So I've been doing that at the beginning of every lesson because you never know when you might need to add something. That's what we're going to do now. So make sure you've started that virtual environment first like we did at the beginning of the lesson. Then open the terminal window again. We need to say pip 
and I just want lowercase here, pip install, and then we want pillow. It's going to help us here as we use images. We're installing pillow to our project. Looks like it's good now. It says I could also upgrade pip if I want to. I'll do that later. But we've added pillow. So now we're going to make a change to our model and we won't have a problem with it. What I'm going to do is add something here to the post and I'm going to call it banner. So we can add a banner to all of our posts in the application. We set this equal to models. And after that, we want to put in image field. And we couldn't do that without pillow, or at least we couldn't do it without getting an error. Then we're going to put default. And I want to set this to a default image in case I don't upload one for the post. So I'm going to call this fallback.png. And we'll need to provide that as well. After that, I want to set blank equal to true. And that just means we're not requiring an image. So if we don't provide one, it's OK. So let's save the change to our model. And after that, if you remember from the previous lessons, when we were working with a model, we needed to make a migration if we changed our model. And then, of course, apply that migration to the database. I'm going to type clear just to clear out the console here. And now let's type those commands. So we'll type pi. And remember, I'm on Windows. If you're on Mac or Linux, you might need to type Python, but I type pi and I want manage.py and then I want to type make migrations. Press enter. Looks like everything went as planned. So we've made the migration. Now let's apply it to our database. So I'll type pi and then manage.py and migrate. And now it's applied that change to our database. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. You may be surprised to learn that three out of every four viewers, nearly 75% of all people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. So I just wanted to take a quick second and remind you to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you really like my videos, you can get exclusive content and support my channel even more by joining my Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. Thanks for your consideration. And now back to the video. Now let's see these changes in place by running our server. So I'll type pi and then manage.py and then run server. Press enter and it should start the server on port 8000. I can hold down the control key and click. And there's our application. Now let's go ahead and go to the admin panel. So at the end, I want to type slash slash, if I can get my fingers on the correct keys slash admin. There we go. It's remembered my login and I hope you remember yours as well from previous lessons. Let's go ahead and log in. Now we can see our users and our posts. Let's look at the posts once again and let's look at my first post that I have here. And you can see there is now a banner area here along with everything else that we previously had for our posts. And it's got currently the fallback.png that we defined. Of course, we haven't put that in our media file yet. We don't even have a media folder, but we will as soon as we start adding some images. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click choose file. You can see I've got some images ready to go here. So I'm going to choose beach chair and add that to this post. I can save. Let's go to the second post. Let's add one here too. I'll choose water fun. And let's save that. Now let's just leave the third post here with the fallback so we can see what that's like. And let's add one new post. And I'll say, ready for vacation, aren't we all? After that, I'm so ready for spring break. And then we'll say, ready dash for dash vacation for the slug. And now let's choose one more image and we'll say, ready to go. There we are. Let's save that. Now we've added images to all of our posts except one, and that one, the third one, should use the fallback as well. So now we can click View Site. And if we go to the site, we're not going to see the images yet, but we do see the new posts. Now, why don't we see the images? Well, we haven't added them to our template. So let's do that. I'm back in VS Code. Let's close the terminal window. We can leave the server running. Something else we should check here before we make any changes to our template to add the image. Let's make sure that media directory was created. You can see mine right up here and it's got the three images now. So we didn't create that on our own. Django created it as we added images. Notice we don't have the fallback yet. So I'm going to pull my folder up here, grab this fallback image and drag it right over here as well. So there's our fallback image that should be applied to that third post also. But now I want to go to the templates directory and then my post page template 
And right here, we can add that image. So above the H1, so let's put it at the very top. Here we'll put in our image element, and it should have a source. And we can set that equal to, of course, quotes. And then we can use our templating language here with the two curly braces on each side. And then we can just say post dot banner dot URL. We need that extra URL there. We can also make this, um, I would say, accessible as well. As we noted in the last lesson, I want to think about accessibility as we go. So anytime I provide an image, I also want some alt text. Let's put in the quotes here. Let's put in our two curly braces. Let's make the alt text the post title as well, because we should kind of have an image description that goes with the, the title or the theme of the post, shouldn't we? So after that, we're pretty much ready to call it. We can put a slash and then the greater than sign to close out the tag. But one other thing I'd like to do is maybe put in just a little bit of image styling, or this image could be really big on the page. So here I want to put in a class, set this equal to banner, and then we can add just a little bit of CSS to our CSS file. And if you remember where that is, it's in our static directory. Come down here, go inside the CSS, open up the style.css, and at the very bottom, I'm just going to put a banner class. And it will be very simple. I want a display set to block for the image. Then I want a width set to 100%. But then I also want a max width, say no larger than 800 pixels. That should still be a pretty good size banner. Okay, with those changes in place, let's open up the terminal. We can see that the server's still running. Now let's go back to Chrome. I'll pull that up quickly. And here inside of Chrome, we should be able to refresh the page and then see our banner for the post. And there it is. Now we should see the banners for the other posts as well. So here's the second post with our water fun. Now the third post, remember it has our fallback image. And yes, that worked out as well also. And then this final one should have the ready for vacation image. Hey guys, I just started a Patreon and I'm already giving a shout out to Eldad. He's my first patron at the senior tier and that means he gets shown in the credits at the end of each video. Remember, you can get my exclusive content and early release content at patreon.com slash Dave Gray. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you. And thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.